Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself is an extraordinary book that gets way too complex, way out there. It's great if you want to sit down and go through page by page, looking up words, going on tangents. He talks about quantum physics, neuroscience. He goes really deep spiritually. He talks about some random studies that are like sort of relevant. Um, they're not proven studies. Like some of them in there, they're a bit, you know, shady. But I would say they do make very good points. And he is trying his hardest to back up some of the spiritual claims with real science. So it's it's a great combination of science and spirituality because he talks about the mind and then he talks about matter. And some people who are materialism and they think that they can break up the brain into different little parts and it's very scientific and there's nothing to an atom, it's just blah, blah, blah. And then there's the mind where it's like, this is quantum physics where anything is possible in any atom. There is potentiality. They talk about the double split experiment and he gets some really, really cool stuff out of the book. The single most important lesson and learning from the book how to break the habit of being yourself is first understanding that our habits and our thoughts and our consistent actions and what we say to ourselves, which is our thoughts, is what's going to determine our future. Even if we do win the lottery, even if we do somehow magically get this promotion, if your current level of awareness is at like a five, and then you apparently get a luck, which is you get a job or money or empowered in your health randomly or, you know, you find a supplement or any, and you get shot up to like an eight, you might have things at an eight, but who you are, your being is only at a five. So in the book, he interlinks what you do, what you have and who you are, who you are and your being is the most important factor. So it's being very honest and vulnerable with yourself and be like, who who actually am I? What, what do I do during the day? What do I have? What do I feel I don't have? And who really get down to who you actually are? So when you do a meditation, you go through the, all of these thoughts and these feelings and you meditate and reflect on actions from the past and you really get close to what what things from the past are holding me back what things in the future am i you know looking forward to and placing my value in and thinking if i achieve this if i get this in the future then it, that's a fantasy that's that's not going to happen that's in that's in la la land that's that's future talking so step 1 is getting extremely clear with who you are, what is my being, who am I, where am I from, where am I going, where have I been, you know, these sort of spiritual questions and, and reflections. After you do that, you get clear on what you, where you're going, okay, so you're clear on who, who I am, my, what is my being, okay, what am I going to do? in order to achieve the things that I want, the goals that I want, the life that I want, to be the person that I want to be, that I know I'm meant to be, and get hyper clear and hyper focused on what that looks like for you, and set the intention. Set the intention. When your intentions align with your soul and what you feel you are truly here and what you're meant to do and who you who you are and what you're meant to share and what, what you want to live by and all these things, then the magic starts to happen. And Joe Dispenza's strategy for this is meditation. Meditate, free yourself from the past, free your mind, turn the particles into waves, don't be stagnant. You know, all the, his meditations are really fucking sick. And they pull you out of the past, they get you into the present, and they, they get you setting intentions with who you want to be, where you want to go. And there, there's a really cool phrase in the book. The quantum field 
will only open up to you when you align your intentions with who you are, who you're, who you're being. Because you cannot be anything other than yourself. So if you have thoughts, feelings, actions, settle down, Kobe, that aren't aligned with who you are, you're, you're feeling like a fraud. You're going to get these fears. You're going to get these failures. So it's really nailed down on your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. They're all things not holding you back. They're things that are helping you to get clear on who you are and where you want to go. Set a clear intention. Perhaps meditate. There's lots of apps out there. Meditate, clear your mind. If your mind is constantly filled with bullshit thoughts, you're going to have a bullshit fucking life. Clear your mind, clear your thoughts. I know I'm getting real spiritual and hippie. He talks a lot about, he gets into the neuroscience and when you're in your amygdala, you're stressed out and you're living in the past and your brain waves are all scattered and you're in your fucking fader way. You know, you don't need to know that. What you need to know and what you can take from the book is meditate or do some sort of practice where you can clear your mind, you clear the bullshit mind because you dissect the level five thoughts that you're having. You figure out, how do I go from a level five to a level six? What are my intentions? What are my goals? And what are my actions? You must take action. You must be grateful for the things you have and get clear on who you are and who you're being, the be, do, have. There it is. There is the one thing from breaking the habit of being yourself. If you liked, subscribe.